Bobby writes, I lost my XP computer's password. What's the easiest way to crack it? Short answer, rainbow tables. Because I lose my password all the time. Long answer, roll Check the footage. A couple of steps involved. First thing we're gonna need to do is get his hash. Yes, we're not talking about the uh, illicit substance. Oh, hey, how's it going, Harrison? I see you uh, helped yourself uh, to the fridge. Hello, Darren. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right. So joining us here is uh, Harrison Holland from the uh, infamous exploitcast.com, where you can find out anything you want to know about security, loopholes, all sorts <laughs> of fun stuff like that. Yes, uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Harrison Holland uh, from Sploitcast. Um, that's probably the only place you would have ever seen me, uh, yeah. if you have heard of me. Anyhow, I was in the neighborhood and decided to stop by and, and get a, a beer from my good old friend Darren. Yeah, sometimes I wake up, I check the fridge, all the beer's gone, and I'm like, yeah, it must have been Harrison. <laughs> so uh, I'm yeah. going to want your key soon. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. so, hey, do you think we can I use the back help? door. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> I want to so bad, but I'm not going to. And the director's telling me to keep going, so, okay. you know, whatever the guys in the control room want. Can you help Bobby? He's Bobby. got a dilemma. Bobby, man. Bobby, my boy. You and I are actually not too different. And by that, I mean we're actually quite similar. That would be not too different. Very frequently, I, as a matter of fact, just this morning, I had uh, a password of my own mm -hmm. that I've been using for two months. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know? I just, I just forgot it. I mean, I committed to muscle memory. I had written it down, yep. uh, but for some reason, it, yeah. I couldn't find oh, dude, it. Yeah, no, this isn't the first time this has happened. I've remembered yeah. Harrison's called me before. All hey, the time. I said, Darren, will you hack my password? Yeah. I, I can, need, you, need, you, need you to help me get it back. So. Twice in one day, he forgot his own password. Twice in one day. Yes. <laughs> Would you believe Bad that? Bad memory, man. I'm, sh I'm surprised you know who you are. So, you know, being that I also forget the password to my own computer, yeah. Bobby. Of course, not your teacher's computer. We, oh, no, definitely. This is de definitely my own computer. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, Run through the steps to recover that. Okay, but bef before we start, we should probably explain how Windows... How Windows yeah, exactly. How Windows stores the password. Uh, so, you've got an operating system and you have a password. That operating system has to store it somewhere in order to be able to authenticate when you try to log in. So it stores it in what's called, uh, you know, a hash value. Uh, basically, there's a mathematical algorithm that your password is run through, and it creates a jarbled. You know, looks like garbage. It looks like garbage. It really does. It, it looks like. It looks exactly four, like this. Four, five, lowercase f h one. Okay. okay. Yeah. So um, basically, it stores it into uh, you know a bunch of junk, and. Uh, it uses what's called a one-way hash to recursively, you know, authenticate that. Not recursively. It uses it to, to be able to, be right, able to right. authenticate the, uh, your, your password. Now, that hash has to be stored somewhere on your computer. In Windows, it's stored in the, uh, the SAM. The SAM.ini file, which uh, the location... Yeah, it's at the bottom of the screen. It's been a while since yeah. I've done yeah, this. Yeah, it's, it's right somewhere here? down there. Yeah, like yeah, it's okay. Now, right. <clears throat> uh, assuming that... Um, you don't have access to your computer, right? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and assume that you don't have access to your mm -hmm. computer. Yeah. Um, then it's very hard for you to log in and uh, and run some of the programs that are used to extract your hash. For example, PW Dump is a great one. Yeah. Uh, PW Dump can be used if you have administrator access to your computer <clears throat> to extract all the hashes for the user accounts. Uh, on that computer. And I've gone ahead and run that right here and we can take a look. We, we see the hashes and you notice this colon here and that's because these uh, passwords are split in two. And now it's using what's called DES and that's uh, the, the one-way hash that it's going to use to a block cipher. block cipher to create a hash of two seven character passwords. Right. So whatever your pairs, say like you got a ten character password. Right. It's going to split that into a seven character hash and a three, and a three character with hash null and null values. So, so, and that's for backwards compatibility because the LM hash is there for you know Windows 95, 98, and ME. Exactly. But we've moved on to 2000 and XP, but we're still retaining that LM hash for backwards right. compatibility. Yeah. Those networks. Uh, unfortunately, if your password is less uh, is less than 15 characters, that's 14 characters or less, there will be a land manager uh, hash value stored for that password. And that's a great exploit. That's that's a great vector for uh, for breaking into your own system. <laughs> 
Yeah, in the event that she needs to break into your own system, yeah, of course. Air masks so, will fall from the ceiling. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so um, what happens is, yeah, like, like Darren said, you have a 14 character password at the most. It's split into two seven character passwords, which is much easier to compute than a full 14 character password. Now, we could fact, go and use something like a brute force attack and do like a dictionary attack or brute force, right. compute some passwords. That was the old school way of doing it, like dictionary attacks, like, you know, all that, all that sort of thing. But brute force attacks take an incredible amount of processing power. Um, and oftentimes, the only successful brute force attacks are on very weak passwords. You know, right. passwords that are used in a word, you know, by a word that can be found in the dictionary right. or a science fiction One, novel One, two, three, or four, something. five could be easily brute force. Right. And we don't all have access to the Earth Simulator or other, you know, supercomputers. <laughs> so, so, so some awesome people have pre-computed those for us. Exactly. There's, um, there's a uh, his name. I'm, I know I'm gonna butcher it. I apologize ahead of time. I think it's Philippe Ochelon, Ochelian, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, he wrote a paper. Called uh, you know faster time memory trade-off to cracking hashes, and uh, what he's basically doing is, is instead of doing a brute force attack, you're pre-computing all the possible uh, hash outputs and their corresponding password values. So you have an enormous amount of. Now, how big would this be? Say, like we're just talking about cracking alphanumeric, you know, lowercase, uppercase numeric, and, and ASCII symbols. Right. That I mean, you can go up to 40, 60, 100 gigabytes. In wow. <coughs> right. So, uh, you definitely want to have. And those a, are called rainbow tables. Rainbow tables. Yep. And there was a man who uh, developed a, pro a program called Rainbow Crack. Which you can use to generate your rainbow tables. Of course, you don't want to do this unless you have a supercomputer. Supercomputers. Instead of generating your own tables, it's probably just faster to bit to, torrent to them yourself. Bit torrent. Uh, as a matter of fact, the SMU group uh, released a, a set, uh, lots of different types of torrents for different types of hashes. Uh, one of which being the land manager hash. And uh, I think it's it's somewhere around forty gigabytes. Um, okay. So if you want to if you want to download it. And the torrent. land manager hash is the one that we're going to be attacking right now because that is the one that <coughs> that uh, Bobby's been having the problem with. Right. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the tools that we can use. We've already talked about PW dump two, and that's a great way to find out our hash. So what other tools are available to uh, go ahead and crack that password once we have the hash? Right. Well. Um, you have you either going to have access to rainbow tables which you can download, or there are several online sources that you can uh, you can refer to. Right, you like this one in particular. What this is, is this is my favorite. It's called plaintext.info. It's actually plain p l a i n hyphen text t x t dot info. Now, what's the site all about? Basically, it's uh, a site that you can simply uh, access in your web browser, submit a hash, and uh, in a set amount of time, depending on you know the the waiting time, uh, oftentimes it's this this site is very backed up, and you're going to have like a day or two waiting for for it to crack your hash. But you can you can simply enter a uh, <coughs> land manager hash, and it will uh, it will crack it. So how long does that take? Well, uh, it depends. Like like I said, it depends upon the uh, amount of traffic that this website is getting. Now. Uh, you're assuming that the the, the uh, website is not, you know, experience a high, experience in a high traffic load, then you, you can get your hash back rather quickly. Right. Um, now we also talked about another uh, site in particular that we we just had an interview with, and that is uh, Rainbow Crack Online. Yep. And uh, this group is uh, offers a online offers a service where they will crack whatever password you throw at it for a fee. Right, and it's significantly faster. Unfortunately, there's a subscription fee that you have to pay per month, and I really don't see, uh, you know, if it works for him, great. I don't see the, 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 the point in uh, paying for something that I mean, you I can, think you're paying uh, for convenience. For it's, it's also integrated with Kane Enable, so yeah. if uh, your time, you, you got to no, ask, what, what's that's your true. time worth? Yep. If I'm a security analyst and, yep. you know, I'm getting paid by the hour by some client anyway, whatever. You well, know, if you're getting paid by the hour by some client, you probably have a spare hard drive to download the tables. That, that's yourself. true as well. But, okay. Okay, enough. so one of the other ones that I also like is um, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to do this, is this great Linux live CD called Off Crack Live CD. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, Off Laugh. O P H Crack. And uh, <laughs> okay. this, is, this is a great Linux Live CD. Uh, they've both got a CD and a DVD Linux Live distros where you boot them up and they go right into using Rainbow Crack. 
they've got, excuse me, they've got the, uh, the rainbow table stored right on them. And they will go ahead and start cracking your Windows passwords. It's, it's actually uh, it's actually a good thing that you mentioned the whole live CD thing because, like Bobby mentioned before, he's locked out of his own computer. So this would be a great so, way for him to find out his password. <laughs> assuming he's logged in, yeah, assuming he's logged out of his computer, there's no way for him to really log into his computer and send us an email with a right. question. Well, I, I mean, uh, he did it at a cyber cafe, okay. I'm sure. So, so, so yeah, you, you go down to your friend's house. Go to offcracked.sourceforge.net. And then try the live CD, and then you know just boot off of that. And what it'll do is start immediately, right when you boot it, start cracking your uh, your Windows uh, LM hashes. And it you know the 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 CD version has like a 400 some megabyte rainbow table, which has got like lowercase uh, a certain amount of yeah, yeah you know and, and like numbers weak and, passwords you know a few symbols. <coughs> it was able to crack some of my weaker ones pretty instantly. Now, if you have a stronger password, though, uh, a good solution would be to boot off of something like Nopix. Mm -hmm. uh, Nopix is my favorite because it automatically um, it automatically boots or, or loads mounts your, par mounts the, your uh, partition, your Windows partition for your for your hard drive, and uh, so you can boot into Nopix. Uh, open that, that partition and navigate to the directory. That's at the bottom of the screen that's, that's holding your LM hash. Right. So right copy that I'm from not, the I'm Sam. not used to the whole IPTV thing. Right. Yeah. I, this is I don't know how medium. it works, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, you, you navigate to the right directory where your SAM.ini file, which is the file that holds that hash, uh, the, all the hashes for your, your uh, user accounts and their passwords. And then you can simply copy that onto like a USB, fl uh, USB drive or. Mm -hmm. uh, or FTP it up floppy somewhere. Disk, USB but. floppy drive. Uh, sure. You can FTP it somewhere, and then use another computer to rainbow crack it. So if the if the password is too strong for something like off crack, mm -hmm. then uh, you can use Nopix to pull that file off, take it to another file, and then do some real real hardcore cracking with like uh, rainbow tables right. or some full tables, or submit it to plain text or rainbow crack. Right. Uh, and something that I use all the time in my job, where it's not just I don't really need to know what the password is. I just need to be able to get in. It's okay if I just reset the password. What I really love is this program called the Offline NT Password and Registry Editor Bootable CD. I know that's a mouthful, and so is the URL. Wait, wait, so could you say that again? I, I missed it. It's the offline NT password and registry editor bootable CD. Ah, uh, that's different from the uh, offline password and registry uh, something mocking? else. Yeah, so. you're okay. mocking me now. Right. Okay, <laughs> so is the URL is at the bottom of the screen. This is an awesome tool where basically you can make yourself a bootable CD where uh, it's not going to recover your password, it's not going to crack your password. However, it will let you overwrite the password. So, like, if I okay. forgot my administrator password on an Exchange 2003 server, I could pop this in the server, boot it up, and uh, and reset the password so that I could log in. You know, Cup why didn't we just mention this first? Because this would have avoided the whole legality issue and just uh, answered the no, uh, no question. There's no legality <laughs> issues. If he wants to create, uh, maybe, maybe maybe he wants to recover that you know exact what? password. That exact password. He, he doesn't wanted. want to change it. No, right. he wants to know what it was. Yeah, so yeah. that he can. And I'm sure if he goes a variation through, of you know, if he goes through the hours it takes to download and burn and and crack. Uh, or whatever method he decides to choose to find out his password, he's going to remember the experience <laughs> and never forget that password again. Yeah, you're exactly right, Darren. <laughs> yes. So thank you so much, Harrison, for uh, drinking all of my beer and mm. uh, answering Bobby's question. I'm sure he's excited about going and then doing some rainbow cracking of his yeah. own. Uh, okay. And so uh, where can we find out more about your show, though? Ah, uh, sp Sploitcast. Sploitcast.com. And as a, as, a, as a matter of fact, um, a uh, gentleman who did a presentation at SmooCon, named uh, by the name of Dan Munez, did a, he did a whole presentation on breaking the land man forever, and he has agreed to be on Spoilcast. Unfortunately, it's my fault because I've like it's been like two months now since I've last corresponded with him, mm -hmm. and uh, eventually, I'm hoping we will get him on. So great! If you check the site, we might be able to talk about. Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to that interview. That's gonna be great. <laughs> so keep your eye on Spoilcast.com, <laughs> and uh, we look forward to. Uh, Drinking some more beers and cracking some why more is, passwords. Why is the word exploitcast so funny? I don't know. It's something <laughs> about the exploiting. The exploiting. <laughs> We're casting exploits. Right. Thanks so much, Joey. I hope you have fun cracking. Uh, Bobby. Bobby, Joey, one of you.